Here we go again, although this time not as bad. But my lens is really gooped up. Not as shitty as it could have been. We got, well, we got a, a few inches, it looks like, of snow. So, you know, we were really on the low end. I mean, there's like a slight breeze, but it isn't nearly as windy as they said it was supposed to be either. So I'm guessing that the more northern part of the East Coast got their asses hammered and we didn't get that much. However, comma, it still sucked. Like my fingertips are frozen from just cleaning off both vehicles. A lot of stuff is closed today, but I was just too pent up. I couldn't stay inside. I knew I needed to clean this off, especially since the sun came out because I wanted to melt as much of the shit as possible and not have it stuck on the car when it kind of melts, but then refreezes. So at this point now, I have spent my morning trying to get my A7 IV to sync and work correctly with the Weeble. And of course, I can't get it to connect. And also it didn't have enough power. So there's a firmware upgrade for the Weeble too. And it wouldn't even, it wouldn't even consider doing it because the power was so low. So I just plugged it in, I'm leaving it alone. And then I'll go back and try to get it all to connect again. Hi, thank you for choosing Starbucks. I'll be right with you. Okay. Hey, sorry about the wait. What can we get for you today? I would like a grande wet cappuccino. Grande wet cappuccino, you said? Yes. What else for you? A grande two pump vanilla breve latte. Well, at least this time they were consistent. They didn't give me a sleeve for either one of them. Homeward bound. Okay, kids, exciting news. I have been fiddling around with this Weeble 2 and the transmitter AI and the Sony a7 IV. Couldn't get it to sync up. Couldn't get the damn picture to come up on the monitor on the Weeble. Couldn't get it to come up on the phone. Couldn't get anything to work right. Part of the problem was that the Weeble didn't have enough power. And it said that it needed a firmware update and it wouldn't do it if it was less than 50%. At one point I was down to 10%. So I plugged it in, left, ran some errands and just let it go. Did some stuff on the internet, so on and so forth. And then came back and had it up to a little bit over 95%. And I've been playing with it probably for the past 45 minutes. I haven't done this in a long time, but you remember I had a problem with it before when I was doing the A7C setup and I couldn't get it to to work either. And that just hit me as I went through because I finally got it to connect enough to do the firmware update. And that took a while. Once that was done, then I was trying to get the monitor to show what the camera sees and also the phone. Couldn't get it, couldn't remember what I had done that was different. And I knew it had something to do with the USB or, oh no, not the USB, dumb monkey. It was the HDMI setup. And I went in and I changed the setup from a specific 2160p to auto. And as soon as I did that, it blinked on right in front of me while I still had everything connected. So now I can see myself on the monitor of the Weeble 2 and I can see myself on the phone. I've drawn a box around my like torso and my melon. And as you can see, it's following me. Now, the other thing that I'm gonna have to figure out is like being able to control the camera's functions. And I know where that is, that's, that's PC remote. But the last time I did PC remote on the A7C, you either got your choice of controlling the camera or having the picture show up. Couldn't have both. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna play with that right now and see if that indeed is the same thing, in which case I won't have control of the camera, but if I had to make a choice, I'd rather have the picture up on the phone and the monitor of the Weeble so that I can follow myself and draw a box whenever I want to or track something else and not being able to control the camera because ultimately all I wanna do is start and stop recording. So. We're gonna see how that works out, and I'm gonna do that right now. 
I cannot control the camera with anything other than my finger. So that's okay though, because again, I would rather have the function of being able to see the screen on the phone and on the monitor than I would being able to start and stop recording because I can just go over and push the button and then all the extra shit that I don't want you to see, I'll cut out like I always do. As it stands right now, I'm pretty stoked. It didn't take me that long, certainly not as long, without as many tantrums as it did when I was trying to get the a7c to work with this whole setup. And now, you know, basically in under an hour, I got everything charged, updated, reconnected, and working properly so that I'm good to go. So that's it. It is five o'clock. Even though it's getting dark and it's gonna be colder out, I want dessert. So I'm gonna go out and get dessert. I didn't even wanna mention this, but I still forgot something at Target. <laughs> I've needed salad dressing for probably longer than I've needed to go get ketchup. If there's one thing that I have consistently forgotten over at least the last month, it's salad dressing. And I don't like any of that weird shit that they have at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. I just want some Robusto Italian uh, wishbone dressing and some normal Hidden Valley Ranch because I ate it all. So I'm gonna have to get that eventually. I don't know that I'm gonna do that now because I'm only going to Whole Foods and I just don't know if I have it in me to go to Target again. I kind of want to go to Best Buy though. I still want to do that, but then this took pretty much all afternoon and then I had to eat. Could you say that again? That Sorry. just scared the absolute shit out of me. That was Siri on my freaking watch that literally just scared the shit out of me. And you got it on film. Okay, enough blathering. I'm gonna go do stuff. So that's all you get for today. But I'm glad I got this working. So if you need to know how to hook up your A7 IV to the Weeble 2 via the transmitter AI, you probably shouldn't ask me because it's taken me forever to get it to work. In all seriousness though, I can tell you exactly which cables I have going where and what settings I have on everything from the camera to the app and I should be able to help you through it. So if, seriously, if you do have any questions, comments, anything like that, leave it down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember kids, forward and up.